the new enhanced CPU, we've got, which is the brain, we've got the chipset, which connect the brain to the rest of the world, and we've got the new connectivity, the new Wi-Fi, which enable us to get to be connected from where we are into our database, into our digital content, or into our work. Let's take a look at some of the components, or the numbers. This is an eye chart, I know it's pretty heavy, but if you are trying to look, we really deliver huge amount of revolution over here. Performance, we are going to have 23% better when we speak about the SysMark. If we speak about 3D graphic, we are going to be 70% better. If we speak about battery life, our average power is going to be lower. If we speak about thin light, lower TDP, a much smaller system, and I'll touch on that later on. If we speak about the connectivity, amazing connectivity, and if we speak about security and manageability, we are going to excel on these things as well. So actually, we are going to excel on each one of these vectors, and I'll make a small dive, and I'll try to take you into the detail. And this is the place also to mention that today we are actually announcing on introduction, the introduction of the quad-core, four cores pairing, more than 800 million transistors in a 45 watts, so you'll see gaming machine and workstation, actually more compute power than server a few years ago, all of them that you'll be able to carry with you from one place to another place. But having some technology background and being part of Intel, which is a technology company, I cannot resist diving a little bit more into the technical detail. Bear with me, I'll try to stay at the high level. The microprocessor. I need to click, that's correct. The microprocessor. A new breakthrough microprocessor, you'll be able to touch it, but again, this thing, which is the thing, size of your nail, more than 400 million transistors. It's the 45 high-K metal dielectric that enable it to squeeze all this amount of functionality such a small place. The front side bus, the thing that communicates, instead of 667 or 800 megahertz, it's going to be 1066 megahertz. Why do we need it? Because when you have a brain that works so fast, you need to fill it with data, with instruction. Otherwise, the brain will be idle. So actually, we created a very fast highway to go and bring this data and feed this brain. But the brain is working so fast that even going to the supermarket and bringing this food is not good enough. You need to have a huge fridge in-house. And this is the cache. We've got 6 meg cache, more than 300 million transistors, where we can go to the supermarket, fetch all this food, throw it into the fridge, so when the microprocessor, the brain's needed, it can read it and feed this hungry machine. The, as I mentioned, we had a lot of features to continue to make sure that we reduce the power, and I'll definitely touch about it, because being able to deliver more performance at the lower power, this is something that we are really proud of, and I believe this is the essence of the Centrino technology. And the thermal design point, it was 35 watts, our mainstream now is 25 watts, translated to normal human being. The mainstream of the notebook will be able to go to be much thinner because at least from our CPU perspective, we enable the OEM to design much more interesting system. And, as I mentioned before, we cannot close without speaking about benchmarks. So what we see over here is three generation, two years ago, last year, and this year. In this case, we speak about floating point, and if you see spec of the rate, it's with threaded mode, it's more than one thread, and here we have integer. We see that we continue to de deliver more and more performance in order to be able to do more and more application, and I'll touch about it in a moment. But before I move to the other components, I would like to speak about one specific component that we are going to introduce, is the Intel Extreme Mobile Processor 9100. For those of you who are done, he asked me before, what is the headline? The headline for your article tomorrow morning, those of you who didn't write it yet, I know that many of you already wrote it, just waiting for me to say something wrong, and then you put the quotation. But for those who have that, a great quotation, the world's highest performing mobile processor. I'll give you an example. Because this is something we are very proud, and clearly, we need to go to a lot of clearance to make sure that we can come with this. So we believe this is going to be the strongest microprocessor in a mobile solution to be able to deliver all this great performance. And definitely if we go to workstation and gaming, it's going to be 3.06 gigahertz. That's what good about the techie guys, you know, 3.06, the 06 is important. But it's very difficult to get. 
3.06 gigahertz, 10.66 frontside bus, 6 megabit level 2. This is going to be a very, very strong. And we are going to deliver special software so the enthusiasts that want to play with it will remove the overspeed protection. And if they've got the right cooling and the right thing, they'll be able to run it at high clock speed in order to achieve things which are almost impossible. 